Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. In the previous video, we talked about what JavaScript is and what are the various variables that we can create using JavaScript. In this video, we are going to talk about the actual difference between the three variables that we have talked, which are where, let, and const. So these are the difference. So whenever we are declaring a variable with the where keyword, that is going to become a globally scoped variable or a function scoped variable what it is we are going to see in the demo so you will get a more idea about that while as when we talk about let and constant these are the block the scope so that's what i said let's quickly see this directly in the demo and then we'll come back here and we'll discuss these three points so this is the browser where i'm going to work you can also open your browser the very first thing is that what we are going to do is we are going to declare a where variable inside an if statement. So what we will say is, we will say that, okay, if true, okay, let's try to have a variable over here. We will say that where dd, okay, and we will say that Amit Singh. This is the variable that we have got. Now, if, if I try to print a dd over here, what should be the outcome? Let's execute this. So what we are getting is we are getting a missing. So suppose that if I have created a variable with a where declaration with a where keyword inside any scope, we can also access that outside that scope. Suppose that you have a function, you have a method which you have created, you have a variable which you have declared inside that function. That variable is going to last throughout that function, not outside that function. Because that is what it said, it is a function scope. So, whatever the variable that you create inside a function, it is going to last that function. Now, if we try to use the same thing for our let keyword, okay. So, we'll say that let, and this time we will say that three times d, and what we are going to print is three times d. Now, let's try to hit enter. What we said that it is saying that. Triple D is not defined. So, what does that mean? Is if you have declared a variable using a let keyword inside any scope, it is going to last inside that scope itself. You cannot access that variable outside that scope. Similarly, if you do this, you say that okay, I'm going to let DD and say that I'm going to print DD over here, then what we will see is we are again getting. This ddd is not defined because it is going to execute this. Now, if we go ahead and we remove these three lines and we say that okay, this time we got Amit Singh, whatever we have declared with this variable. And there is one thing if we try to use a let variable on the top over here, so let's say that we have got let ddd and then we initialize the value over here, we say that okay, we've got let ddd. And print, then we will see that we have got a missing. So that is actually how your let and where work. And when we talk about constant, constant are also scoped variables. So if you create any constant inside a variable, so let's say that we have got a constant, we say that constant it is going to be a name, and if you want to print a name, you will see okay, it is going to be printed. But if you wanted to print the same variable outside this scope, you will see the error. So if you hit enter, you will say n name is not defined. And one thing that we need to notice about the constant is if you are having a constant variable, the same name, like you have got n name, and you say that you have got n name equal to here, SFDC Panther, and we remove this. And try to hit enter what we will see is assignment to a constant variable if you have a constant variable it is going to act like a final variable you cannot change the constant variable once you have initialized so whatever the constant variable you have initialized at once it is going to be the same if you wanted to make a change you need to make sure you are changing the value at the top over here so now let's get back to our presentation points 
So that is what we said. Wire declarations are globally scoped or function scoped, while let and const and constants are log the scope that we have just seen in the demo. Wire variables can be updated and redeclared with the, within its scoped. Let variable cannot be updated but not redeclared. Can be updated that we have already seen. We have created a let variable and we were able to update the constant variable. Sorry, update the let variable. However, for the constant variable, can neither be updated nor uh, redeclared. That's what we have also seen. Then while where and let can be declared without initialized, constant must be declared with initialization. So this is what we have also seen. What what was that? If you go there and you say that okay, you've got where name and you say that name is SFDC Panther, you can declare without any initialization. But if you try to initialize a constant keyword, you say that const and you can say that whatever the value you wanted to have. You are going to get the error which is saying that missing initialization in the constant declaration. So you must need to initialize the constant. Apart from this, there was something about the variables. So if I say, okay, you have got 23 name, we cannot initialize the variable like this, which is starting with the number. But if you wanted to initialize a variable with a starting with a character and then ending with number, that is also not going to let's quickly see if it is going to work or not so we'll say that name 23 and we'll say that okay whatever we have got and it is going to work so if you are starting a variable with a string or with a character or with a dollar sign or with underscore and then ending with number it is going to work but your variable cannot start some sort of characters or a string then it is not going to sorry your Variable should not start with a number. If it is going to start a number, you will get the error. So this is the basic difference between constant, let, and uh, variable variables, where variables. We will also keep talking about these scoped and blog scoped in the coming videos. So thank you for your time, and we'll meet you into the next video.